Hello ladies and gentlemen, if you're a Mac user and you want to install Apache Cassandra, then this is the video for you, hopefully in a relatively painless fashion, but we'll see. <laughs> um, so first of all, I'm in the Cassandra documentation. I'm looking at the prerequisites and note that it requires Java 8, which is an older version of Java. So you specifically need to have that version. And then also to run um, the Cassandra query language shell, you need Python 2.7, even though it's no longer supported um, and very out of date, that's what we need to use. Um, so we're gonna make sure that happens. In order to do that, we're going to leverage a package manager called Homebrew. So if you go to brew.sh, and uh, you can see this is a missing package manager for Mac OS or Linux. And uh, there's a simple script to install it right here. And uh, this will allow us to very easily set up um, our uh, system for Cassandra. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go to the terminal. So easy way to do that would just be use the finder and type in terminal. It's also under apps utilities. When that pops up, I'm going to paste this in and press enter. Now it'll ask you to uh, install the Xcode command line tools. So we'll hit enter for that and type in my password. This is your password for your uh, user account on Mac OS and let this run. This will take a little while. So I'm going to speed it up now in post. Okay. Now we have homebrew installed, which will allow us to quickly install things like Python. Python comes pre-installed on our system. In fact, Python two. So if I type in Python dash dash version, you can see I've got version 2.7.10, and that is not the most current version of 2.7. And so what we want to do is install the more recent version from brew. We can type in brew install Python at two. So that will make sure that we are installing version two. And I just see here that I flipped the N and the S as I was typing. So we'll Go ahead and let this run. This again will take just a few moments, uh, so I'm gonna speed it up. Okay, so now we have Python installed and note it's prompting me that I should probably um, update PIP and the setup tools. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. We'll do that in just a second, but I also wanna point out that now if I type in Python dash dash version, it's still showing me the old version. Whoops, hang on, Python dash dash version 2.7.10. I installed in this video 2.7.17. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna exit out of the terminal and I'm gonna reopen it. Now if I type in Python dash dash version, I see I've got the latest version. I'm gonna go ahead and use that command, um, pip install dash dash upgrade, pip and setup tools. Might as well have the latest setup tools because we'll be using pip uh, later. So that's quick and easy. Uh, no need to fast forward through that part. Now we can go ahead and install Java. I recommend using brew to install Java 8. There's different ways you can do this, um, but we can use um, the open JDK, Java development kit. Um, and we can do that by doing brew tap adopt open JDK slash open JDK. This uh, will give us access to additional repositories in brew uh, that we need for this open JDK. After that's cloned, we can then go ahead and install. And I think we can just type brew cask install adopt open JDK eight. This again will take just a moment. So we'll go ahead and let it run. It's prompting me to enter my password, so I'll go ahead and do that. And we're finished. Okay, so now we've got Python 2.7 installed and also the JDK Java Development Kit for Java 8. Next, we have a simple task. We just need to do brew install Cassandra. And uh, this will actually install Cassandra. And this will take a little while too, so I'll speed this up. Okay, so now Cassandra's installed and we should be ready to run it. Now, there's different ways to run Cassandra. Um, an easy way to do it is just to type Cassandra-F. Now, the dash F uh, keeps it running the command line instead of having it run as a background service. Um, so that allows you to just press Control C to kill it whenever you want uh, to end Cassandra. This will produce a lot of output. Just let it run. And when it stops producing output, you know it's up and fully loaded. Looks like it's pretty good to go. 
And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new terminal tab. So I'll go to the shell and just do a new, new basic tab here. And uh, we can open up CQLSH. This is the Cassandra query language shell. This will be a good second test to make sure we're able to connect to our now running database service. And sure enough, it is up and running. So you can type in commands here to uh, set up tables or to access information or import some information, etc. cetera. Uh, but we'll save that for another video. I'm just gonna type exit to exit out of that here and uh, go back to the tab here and to exit Cassandra, I'll just do control C. And it'll just take a moment to shut down. Great, so that's installing Ca Apache Cassandra. I do want to point out, you may have saw that it was installing Python 3 when it was installing Cassandra. Cassandra will actually run with Python 3, but the Cassandra query language shell, the CQLSH, won't run with Python 3 right now. You need Python 2 for that. And so that's why we did that. Hope this video was useful and uh, that you're able to do it with uh, an equal amount of success and not run into any problems. Um, but if you do, I hope that uh, you can quickly see how to overcome them.